So it's gonna be an awesome day. It's early in the morning. We've got the tow truck loaded up with a body that we're taking to Rocky Mountain Record Sales. We're dropping it off. Hillbilly's going with us. Hillbilly's driving a Dodge truck to drop off at the dealer. We're gonna go show him the new tow truck. Getting a little bit more excited about it. And then we're off to Powder Extreme Coatings. We're gonna get the trailer for the Golden Nugget and we're coming back and we're getting that thing painted. So we got a lot of stuff to do. I think the guy that's buying the tow truck's a lot more excited than we are. Oh yeah, update. We put it out on last Friday's video that we were thinking about selling the F550. It sold the next morning. So we apologize to all of you that have emailed, called, come in. The F550 has been sold. It's gone. That's the power of this platform. You viewers are awesome. And it's going to a viewer up in Logan, Utah. We're pretty excited about that. We are on the road in the tow truck. We've got Adley with us. We've got little Lincoln behind me sleeping and we've got the boss. We're gonna stop and get some fuel and then pick up Hillbilly from the dealer and then get to Rocky Mountain. All right, good news. We got to the dealership, look who we found. A hitchhiker. Yeah, we got us a hitchhiker. Anyway, we dropped the truck off. All they gotta do is do a code scan and hopefully clear all the codes out. So we're gonna head to Salt Lake and then we should be able to stop back down here and pick this truck back up. It's a win-win. We don't have to come back another day. Don't worry, we're parked. Lincoln's getting some out of his seat time. You say hi? Uh -huh. All right, so we're gonna hit the road. Next stop's Rocky Mountain Record Sales. All right, I've said this before, but I'm saying it again. We live where we live so that we don't have to deal with any of this traffic. If I didn't work for you, I probably, I would never come up here. I hate coming to the city. That's true. We like where we live. Who lives in rural America? Let us know in the comments. Let us know where you're from. All right, we made it to Rocky Mountain. Me and Hillbilly are gonna go in. We're gonna find Chris, get this thing unloaded. And then we're gonna go check out the truck again. We might as well check in on it. What's your favorite part of the new truck? CB, but I want that truck. One day I will own one of these trucks. Straight stacks, look like eight inch. One day. All right, we gotta hurry and get this unloaded because we've gotta get over to Powder Extreme Coatings and get that trailer picked up. We need to pick up, go pick up our crane and fix it and get it get working. Oh, that little baby one. Yeah. Oh we, yeah. We need to go get it and get we it going. Did. I forgot about it. All right, so unfortunately, my truck is sold. I didn't even list this thing for sale, and one of you awesome viewers bought it. It's not for sale. Sorry to everybody that reached out. I've had a lot of calls, a lot of emails. I apologize, but you're in luck. We are up here at Rocky Mountain Record Sales, and they have two trucks that are unlisted. They just came in. You're gonna wanna hit up Chris at Rocky Mountain Record Sales. We're gonna put his link in the description. These things will be gone before you know it. It's this Dodge flatbed. I don't even know what it is. You're gonna wanna talk to Chris to figure out the details on it. These trucks are selling like hotcakes right now. You can't get them. So he's got this used Dodge roll bed, probably a 5500. You're gonna wanna hit Chris up and talk to him about it. The Wrecker is a little bit older, but it looks like an awesome big truck. You're not gonna wanna miss out on this. You guys are gonna wanna hurry up and give him a call if you're in the market for one of these trucks they're gonna sell fast he doesn't have them listed yet but hit him up because once they do get listed they get sold maybe you should get it i mean i do need a wrecker i don't know maybe we'll give one of these viewers an opportunity to buy it rather than us buying it give chris a call don't hesitate these will be sold quick we got to get over to see kevin pick up the golden nugget trailer then we're hustling back to the shop all right so we made it to powder trim coatings got the trailer loaded up you just saw kevin on the forklift he put it on the bed for us hillbilly's grabbing the straps we're gonna get this thing strapped down and then we're on our way to go get some fuel go get some lunch get back to the shop then we've got a ton more stuff to do like we've said like 25 times I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna go. do it yeah you will i ain't going anywhere darn it i done it i knew he'd do it you can't do anything without tapping your strap and say that ain't going nowhere it's a big dog he likes you. We've got everything loaded up. We want to thank Kevin at a Powder Extreme Coatings for helping us out on this. He did all the sandblasting for us. They're most likely going to be helping with the Rocon, so you guys are not going to want to miss it. And if you need any powder coating or sandblasting or Cerakoting, hit up Kevin. We'll have a link in the description to their shop. We appreciate it. Yep, thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Where are you? Buddy, buddy. Come here. You take forever, Hillbilly. All right, we've got everything loaded up. We're gonna be bringing the Rokon back up to get that thing blasted. We're gonna be coming up and actually helping with it. They did a phenomenal turnaround time on this. We brought it up just a couple days ago. They got it all blasted and ready. We really appreciate it. If you guys ever need anything for powder coating, sandblasting, that type of stuff, hit up Kevin. They do an awesome job. We're really grateful that they're a part of this build. Let's get in our seatbelts and let's get to Zupas. We're gonna go in and get some food. 
and then we'll be on the road, headed back to the shop. Lunch didn't disappoint as always. I got soup spilled all over me. I didn't even have time to react and film it. It was horrid. It's all over Lincoln, then all over me. I spent half of my lunch time cleaning up wild rice and chicken soup from Zupa's. It was great. So we're gonna go drop Hillbilly off and get back to the shop. No speeding. See you at the shop. As you can see, it's daylight. We're doing good. Doesn't mean it's gonna be daylight when we get done, but we're hoping. Billy's the bufferist, but he gets to pick up the heavy end. Let's get this pulled in here. All right, so we've got to figure out how we're gonna suspend this thing in the air so that we can paint everything all at once. That's gonna be our next task. Then we're gonna get it all cleaned up. There's some oil and stuff that got up off of the bed while we were transporting it. We're gonna get that all cleaned off, get it prepped a little bit, but this is sandblasted to where we can just, I gave me cold chills touching that. It was like a chalkboard. <laughs> oh, but it's pretty smooth, other than it gave me chills. But we're not gonna sand anything. We're just gonna clean it all up and we're gonna paint it. It's gonna be beautiful. So Cody's gonna get this hung up in the booth. We're gonna be Cerakoting the axle. I just think it's gonna be a lot better. So it just makes sense. I don't know why we're clapping, but we are. Okay, now we got the axle for the road cone trailer in here. We're going to Cerakote the flat black that we did the exhaust and a few other parts in. And then for the bearing caps on the trailer, we're going to hit those with burnt bronze at the end. Now we're back in here with the burnt bronze for the bearing caps. We'll do two coats on this. We gotta let that flash for a couple minutes, put on our second coat, and they'll be done and just gotta set overnight. You know what we should do? What? Mask off the neck, paint it like a giraffe. We should do a giraffe neck. Would that be cool? Should we paint our giraffe neck like a giraffe? What do you guys think? No. 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 <laughs> Why? You think Ed will like a giraffe neck? Blow your back out. Be a man. <laughs> Whoa! Plan B. <laughs> I think this trailer is the only thing in history to ever beat Hillbilly up. <laughs> Take two. Don't touch it. Don't breathe on it. It only takes two times to hang it correctly. So we got the Golden Nugget trailer for the Rokon all wired up. It only beat Hillbilly up one time. Luckily, there's no blood and no broken bones. So we're doing pretty good. That's it for today because we're tired and it's Sunday night and we want to go enjoy our time with our families. So it's tomorrow. Me and dinners, we're in the paint booth. We'll wax and grease it. So now I'm gonna blow tack and static it. It's ready for Robbie and paint. It, it looking good. All right, so we've done things a little bit different today. I had Hillbilly go in and blow tack and static and wax and grease that trailer. So I'm just getting the sealer mixed up. We're using some Del Fleet 1 8801 epoxy primer white. So I'm just gonna get it mixed up. We'll go in, we'll shoot that. Then we gotta let it sit for an hour. We're actually gonna let it sit for a lot longer than an hour, but it'll seem like two seconds and we'll get in there with our gold base and get that trailer painted. So we're two to one to half. Kind of an odd ratio. It's gonna mixy mixy. Then I was doing a weird dance. Cause it's dinner time. Who wants to see dinner? Do a little dance too. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It bows. I like the way you wiggle wiggle. Cause I think that'd be awesome. If we get enough response, we'll make a reel and put it on Instagram. All right, it's time to get this little trailer sealed. This is gonna be kind of a fun one cause I gotta go inside and out. So wish me luck. All right, we got everything sealed. Somebody wanted her daddy to hold her, so came out of the booth. Anyway, we've got it all sealed up. It's gonna sit for a while. Actually, what we're really doing is we're taking the golden nugget down to Paul's. It's on a different video, so you're gonna have to go check that one out. But we're gonna drive down, drop the nugget off, come back, and we're gonna finish basing out this trailer. It's time to blow tack and stat this thing. Now we're putting on some gold. We're gonna let this flash out for about eight minutes, come back in, hit it with a second coat. Then we gotta let it sit for about an hour. We're gonna mask these fenders off, paint this trailer black, then we're clearing it all. Just like that, it's all masked up. That was quick. 
Surprise, we're painting it black. All right, so we got our first coat of black on. We're gonna let this flash out. Do a second coat, and then we'll bring you guys back in, get these fenders unmasked, get this thing all cleared up, and we'll be ready to bake it. We let this all flash out. It's time to get these fenders unmasked. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Look at that. Just look at it. Psh. <laughs> ah! Uh-oh, now we gotta fix some stuff. Base coat lifted. So what we'll do is we'll mask up around it and we'll spray some more gold on it. We'll get that fixed up. I'm just scotch brightened up. I don't know why it lifted, but sometimes the base coat doesn't stick to the sealer perfect. What I'll do is I'll reverse mask this and we're just gonna spray some gold, fix it. That's all you can do. When you're a painter, you gotta learn how to fix your mistakes. I'm gonna fix a little bit on the driver's side fender and then I'm gonna go to that passenger side and fix all my screw ups. I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time, let it flash out so I can gain my coverage. Take a look now. You see, there's no overspray. All that bleed through from the black is gone. Like magic. All right, this is not a perfect repair, but that is directly behind the tire. So, I'll let you know because you watched it on my video, you won't even know we screwed up. Can't even see it. He's paid to say that. So now I'm gonna go out and mix the clear, let this flash out for just a few more minutes, come in, we're doing two coats of clear, and then we're done with this thing, all well, for the day. I'm gonna start at the wheels, then I'm gonna go to the trailer. We're gonna be hitting the underside, the upside, the downside, all the sides, get it all nice and shiny. Time to let that sit for 10 minutes. Coming back in with a second coat. And then we'll show you guys what this thing looks like all glossy. It's turning out awesome, but all I can think of my head is black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. We got the trailer completely painted. We listened to a ton of viewers. We went with the black body and the gold fender. So thank every single one of you that gave us your opinion. It's gonna look great outside once we get the axle back in it, get this thing back together. The Rocon is gonna accent this trailer so perfectly. Oh, my head is looking a little naked. Awesome news, guys. We have the dope Dopest news ever! I've always wanted to do that. Hats are finally back in stock on the website. Head over to RobbieLayton.com, get yourself an awesome hat. We have it in two styles. Get yourself a sticker, get yourself a patch. It helps us create content so we can keep bringing these awesome videos to you guys. All right, so we got a lot done. We went up, we got this trailer from Powder Trim Coatings. We got it back, we got it in the booth, it's painted. We listened to you guys, just like always. We ended up painting it all black with gold fenders. Cody got all the Cerakote done. I can't wait to show you guys the final result next video. As always, we appreciate you guys, and if you enjoyed that video, go check out this one.